Hey guys, Jen here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I want to bring you with me while I do kind of a hair experiment. Um, I don't think that I'm capable of doing what I'm about to do <laughs> well. Uh, so experiment. I'm going to use demi permanent color so that if I totally botch this, you know, it'll eventually wash out and I won't actually be causing any damage to my hair. But I mentioned previously that I wanted to do a shadow root. Yeah, so that's what I'm gonna attempt today. And I figure, you know, if I if it doesn't turn out well, it'll at least be good practice. Um, so this is not a tutorial, this is a DIY, if you're wondering how it could turn out for you. Um, without further ado, let's get into the video. So starting out, I'm going to use the 8A for the roots, the 10NA for the lengths, and an activating lotion as opposed to a developer so it won't be damaging at all. I am going to mix the 8A and use a brush to apply it, and you'll see later in the video that when I mix the 10, I, um, I put that in a bottle to apply. I'm gonna brush out my hair and start by sectioning it into four sections. I'm gonna do the eight ash on the roots going across the top of my head and down the sides. Then I'm gonna go down the back. This is a really great view of the brassy bit that I'm kind of trying to feather out with the eight ash. I'm gonna carefully brush through the lengths of my hair and then I'm gonna drag that 8A down just a little bit. Then I'm gonna go through on the back of my head and just make sure I got good coverage on the roots back there before moving on to mixing the 10. So this 10NA is actually lighter than my hair color, and without a developer that would help it to lift, um, it's not actually going to do anything. The goal is to protect my hair from that darker 8 ash color as I start to kind of drag it down and blend it. So I did the 8N at the root and I tried to go in like I see in other tutorials where I do the roots in sections and then I went down the sides and did the roots pulling forward towards your face and I went down the back and did the roots on either side split in half. After that I went in with the 10NA demi-permanent also, and I started pulling that through the ends of my hair. I don't expect it to do much because my hair is probably not a level 10, but I did hope it would kind of protect the other hair from the darker color. So I kind of went up, 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 and then I did a little bit more of the eight, and I would 
kind of drag it through a little bit in sections and then I would get more of the tenon and kind of work it up a little bit. So my goal was to try and do like I guess a shadow root, but kind of like a, a melt, I think is what they call it. All right guys, here is the outcome. And I am pretty surprisingly happy with it. Um, I say surprisingly because if you can watch the video, I'll insert a little bit up in the corner again. It's awful. I have no technique. If you even have gotten this far in the video, thank you for sticking with me because it's, it's terrible, I did a royally bad job. However, my idea was solid, and I gotta say guys, I think that it worked. So, I had two things I was, two, not four, two things I was working on. One was I wanted to practice a shadow root safely um, without damaging my hair and without risking ruining my hair with a bad color job. So I did use demi permanents and I used colors that were not very far from my natural hair color. So I knew it was gonna turn out subtle. A lot of people when they do shadow roots that are my coloring and have my level of blonde would do like a six or seven at the root and I didn't eight. So I knew it was gonna be subtle and I was okay with that. Uh, the second thing was that I wanted to fix the banding or see how I would fix the banding or if I could fix the banding. Banding, for those of you who don't know, is when you touch up your blonde as it grows out and you end up with like shelves of inconsistent blonde coloring throughout your hair. I watched a video that Elle Bangs put out and she talked about banding being like the first problem that they have to assess. I was like, oh no, <laughs> I should fix that. So yes, those were my two things, practicing a shadow root and fixing the banding. And guys, I, I kind of think I accomplished it. I kind of think it worked. So tell me what you guys think in the comments below. If any of you have tried a shadow root on your own or have any tips or have any other videos maybe you've watched that you were like, oh, this video was way better, share it so I can watch it too. Cause like I said um, in the description, this is my first attempt and I plan to do quite a few more. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you found this video useful, um, please subscribe, like, leave a comment, share, all that good stuff, and I will catch you next time.